Hey everyone, uh, thank you for being here. My name's Holly, energy reader, psychic medium. Um, this is your Friday reading. So, we got a lot going on. And thank you for being you. Thank you for coming into this community. Thank, community, thank you for providing a safe place. And uh, we do that for each other, okay? Um, this is not the time to let outside forces divide and conquer us. Um, I'm going to do a reading in this, you know, this is what I'm here to do, okay? And so I am going to do a reading and I am going to talk about the energy of the day. I just want to let everyone know how much I appreciate you, how much I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for your comments. Sometimes I may not understand them entirely. So if I say I don't get it, I don't understand. I really it's because I really don't understand what you mean. So I think we're it's a mis it's just a miscommunication more than anything. I kind of just I need more clarification. Um so I hope that doesn't offend anybody if I if I say that to you um it, through a comment. But um anyway, so let's get to it. Um You know, I try to tune into a vibe, but because I'm still, like everyone else, kind of in a little bit of shock, but the shock is wearing off, and so what I'm coming to is it's time to focus, it's time to get clear about who we are, what we stand for, what we believe in. So my bluish-green iridescent mug, yeah. It's, it's time to get clear, and it's time to stand strong, and it's time to stand with each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a lot unseen. That, okay, this is, okay, this is coming through really strongly because I can feel it in my chest. This is the part about being an energy reader, okay? Um, there's a lot unseen that we don't know about. There's a lot that we are not privy to at this moment. And people have hinted around it, kind of some of this in comments, but I do feel like I'm not going to go as far as to say what it is because that is not within my scope. But there's a lot we don't know. And I have, as soon as I said we need to come together, the vibe and the energy I got was even the people that we feel like are on the other side of the aisle because this is very clearly a blue wave channel. Um, but the people who we feel like are on the other side of the aisle, in the public, uh, that we kind of are boggled by, quite frankly, um, I feel like it's important that we not hammer away at them in a way we could um, but instead do what we need to do, but at the same time still be the caring people we are providing that safe space. I'm going somewhere with this. Um, this is just an overwhelming feeling. It may not happen right away, but it will happen. The people who are some of the, um, supporters that we don't understand, they may want to come around at some point when they start feeling the effects of what they voted for in reality. And I need to be really careful about what I say here. But I do feel like there's going to be a large amount of regret and remorse because Things are going to be visited upon their doorstep by the structures that they put into place. So that won't be the time for the I told you so's, no matter how much you want to do it. Um, but it will be the time for saying welcome back into the fold of humanity and trying to, to wish well for everyone. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take too terribly long. I'm actually getting the month of February is going to be an interesting one. 
And even though it's going to be things we don't necessarily want to deal with, I think it's going to be a galvanizing moment for the other group that might make them realize, oh no, what have we done? And then they will step up. And then we will truly become united. I I hope something gets resolved before then. Oh gosh, I'm just getting an over... Okay, and I need to stop talking and not bring this up again, at least for right now, okay? Just, just trust me on this, okay. Be safe and take care of yourselves. Be safe. I just, okay? Mm. Wow. Okay, <clears throat> that was weird. That was weird. The feelings that I had um, coming up with that. All right. Um, I, I love all of you. I, I do. I love all of you and I'm sending love to you. Um, okay. So let's get on with the reading part. Okay. These, these cards are so enormous. I haven't used these guys or I haven't used these guys with you guys. I haven't used these with you all. Uh, these are so massive that I can't even really shuffle them. I just mush them around and then I, uh, pull cards in different ways from this deck. I mean, look at them. They're it's almost as long as my face. No, well, it is probably the majority of my face, but yeah. Um, but they're, they're cool cards. And this one, I knew I needed to use this deck because this was sitting on the bottom. And um, when I picked up the deck and turned it over, it's the Hierophant. But look at that. It's a Hierophant card, but it almost looks like a High Priestess card. And it's definitely the Oracle of Delphi. Okay, or Delphi, uh, whichever way you say it. But this is definitely the card of an oracle. Oh, gosh, I'm feeling it again. Okay, and it's coming in big and fast. Uh, the There's a feminine energy, high priestess energy, and the, and the oracle energy that is coming in. We are not alone. We are not alone. So not only are there things happening behind the scenes that we don't know about in the human realm, there are things going on behind the scenes in the spiritual realm. Okay. Yeah. You want me to stop here and show you this? Okay. The cards were face down. I have no idea what order they're in. I just randomly shuffle them around and um, I'll show you exactly what I did. I do this. And then eventually, I, it's like I will feel a pulse, and I'm like, this one. And that's that's how I got this card, just so you know how I use the decks that are enormous for me to use. All right. Um, this is the Sun card. Best card in the deck. This is a, a channel with psychic readings, so it is what it is. But... This is not, I just still get the feeling, because I'm seeing a very, I'm seeing a pony walking, not running. So I'm telling you, this is going to be slow going, or it's going to feel slow going, but it really isn't. There's a lot going on right now, right now behind the scenes that we don't know about. Okay. The sun card. All right. I think that's all I needed to do with these. Well, I'm sticking back over here because those are just really hard for me to handle. Um, they're just enormous. All right. Um, okay. Let's, let's get a message for Friday. And of course I'm making this Thursday afternoon, evening, afternoon slash evening. Um, so I'm asking for what are the messages for the collective for Friday, and this will take us through the weekend. I'm going to give myself a rest on the weekend. I think we all need to regroup and rest. Um, my God, I love you all so much. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for reaching out. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being part of this. If I, if I don't respond, more than likely because I didn't see the comment, it's some things have changed on the channel and Oh, that was interesting. Okay. Um, all right. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead. So here's what, and I'm showing you what happens. So you see what, so you all know what's going on. When I was doing the regular riffle shuffle, I think it's, yeah, riffle. Um, 
this one landed and then it uprighted itself. So we're taking that. So what is the message? What is the message? What is it? <laughs> and I talked about taking a break on the weekend. It's a card for, let me put my glasses on. I want to make sure I'm seeing that right. Yeah. Card for, four cardinal directions. The four card is a card of balance. They're showing me a chair. A chair has four legs. It is the most stable. If it has four, you don't have to worry about how you balance on it. And this is a card, this is card four, and the message is be still. Cultivate a space of stillness and silence to just be. So the message I'm hearing, because I'm asking spirits to take over, and even though my first thought is, we got to move to action. We got to do, 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 go, 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 go. What I keep hearing over and over again is be still and take a breath. What we need to do in the direction will open itself up as it needs to happen. But first, first, center, work through your emotions. And I feel like this is predominantly because it's what's on everyone's mind in this country. And I would think even in other countries, too. I know it is because some of you have commented. And thank you so much. Um, but this could also refer to just in your life in general. If you were getting ready to make a major life decision, and I feel like it's about, for some people, it's going to be going out on your own. Uh, someone For some of you, it's going to be leaving a relationship, getting a divorce, changing jobs, leaving the country, whatever it is. Um, there's a reevaluation happening, so it's important to be still, focus, tune in, because we want to securely act, not react. Please hear that again. It's important to thoughtfully act with focus and intention, not react. <sighs> And it's taken a few days to get to me be able to be able to say that. So uh, I, I get it, y'all. I get it. Hmm. All right. And listen to your body. If you're starting to have any physical issues, um, pay attention to that. Take care of yourself and uh, start really cleaning up. I know the, <laughs> the, the, the knee jerk reaction is, well, I'm going to treat myself and eat the whole pizza and, you know, whatever it is else you want to do. So, and yeah, that's, that's okay. But remember, for the most part, we need to be in prime physical condition. We need to be in prime health and we need to make sure and start being thoughtful in our preparations about our lifestyle, body, all of those things. Okay. All right. Now I am, I am seeing this, which I find interesting because I always view this deck as a tarot deck with messages that tend to be very nurturing in how they present themselves. And it's the Unfolding Path Tarot. And since we're all here about ready to beat on a drum and get going, um, it's, it is important to nurture ourselves. What is our greatest strength? I'm hearing that. So Spirit is asking, what is your greatest strength? It is your capacity to nurture and love that will be necessary, as is the strength that you will be required to exhibit. Stand in your truth. Know what you stand for. Be well. Be careful. I keep hearing the words illusion and mirage. Illusion and mirage. That's going to be important. Just tuck that away. Put it on the back burner. Bring it out. Illusion and mirage. Those two words are important. So right now, take care of yourselves. And it is important that we look at what is our greatest strength. And our greatest strength is that we come together. We come together. All right. Oh, I just got the shivers on that one. That's a, that, was, that was important. Yeah. Six. Look at that. Victory. This person is in a wheelchair, but this person is victorious in a race. That's important. You are not limited. You are not limited and there will be victory. There will be victory. I just keep seeing that golden cup. 
believe in yourself, believe in your connection, and stand up for what you believe. Now, I know this guy's sitting down, but it's okay to do things in a, I'm hearing pace yourself and do things in a thoughtful, active way, not reactive way. Again, it goes back to that. So there is victory. Okay, what else? What else is going on here? What else is going on with this? I also feel like this is twofold. I do feel like there's someone who's going through a divorce, and I feel like there is someone who feels completely misunderstood and is wondering, you know, it's like, I, I do. I feel like someone is going through a divorce, and I feel like that that divorce is one of those things where you feel like your world has crumbled apart and you're looking at your former or soon-to-be former spouse and, and asking the question, who are you? Did I ever really know you at all? And the answer is, no, you didn't. So just be sure and take care of yourself. And remember, and that goes back to that mirage thing. Illusion and mirage. Whomever this person was, the spouse in that situation, this won't resonate for everybody. This is a general reading, you all. Please remember that. It's a general reading. But if this is for somebody who is in the middle of a divorce and you're looking at the uh, soon-to-be ex-spouse and you're you're wondering who are you i don't feel like i know you well you never really did they just had a nice mask on for a really long time and you know i think that applies in other things too all right the chariot every time i see this card in this deck i always think of the card of strength and even though it's the chariot and the chariot usually means you know that things are going to be moving along pretty quickly this card is a little different in the way I read it personally. So you read it however you want. But for me, when I see this card, I always think of it as, I think of it as there being two strength cards in this deck. And for me, this is a snow leopard or a snow tiger, snow leopard, snow leopard, big snow cat. Okay. And, um, Siberian tiger. Maybe that's it. But anyway, so this to me, for me, represents an emotional guide or protector. Okay, an emotional guardian. Not the physical, not any of the other stuff. But this is this is an emotional protector for me. So there is emotional protection. And as far as the chariot part of it, we will be moving toward that even more strongly and with strength very quickly. Give yourself time to breathe and regroup, and you will, you will. I, I just heard you will understand. So, okay, for whatever that's worth, you will understand. Okay. All right. All right, they don't want me to do any more with it. Oh, okay, I guess that's it. So that's it for that. <laughs> okay, all right. We got that one taken care of. Um, Gilda Tarot. And these are going to be fairly short, you know, I'm sorry you all, these are going to be a little short, but, uh, ooh, I'm getting just chills running up and down me. Um, spirit is very close. When you are asked, when you, you, trust your connection to spirit. Trust your connection to spirit is what I'm hearing and what I'm getting. And when they ask you to go within or when they ask you, to listen to what they are telling you, listen, okay? Now, I also want to make it very clear that there are, there are some, all right, let's be honest, I'm trying to be generous, and I know there's a lot of people who are going to regret their decision when it, again, comes landing at their doorstep, and we need to be ready to take them in and, and show them kindness that will help create that that generosity of spirit that will help them not want to dig in their heels even harder to a bad decision. Um, again, we need to welcome them back into the fold of humanity. But let's be honest, there are some people that are just mean. There are some mean people out in this world, so watch out and protect yourselves. However, there are also some really wonderful people. There are wonderful women and men. There are some 
awful women and men. And I think the awful women, I, I really do believe in the Stockholm Syndrome. I think that's a real, that is definitely, it's already, we know it's a real condition. And it's a sort of Stockholm Syndrome, syndrome if you're not familiar with it, is when the captor identifies the captive identifies, starts to become brainwashed and identify with their captor. So, yeah. But um, there are... But as far as with, with, with men, there are a lot who are just not nice people. But there are a lot that are wonderful people. There are so many that want to stand up and say, this is wrong. Don't, and I don't want to judge all men by the actions of some of the others, okay? I personally know I am involved with the most wonderful man I think I've ever met. And so it is possible and trust me, if there's been a toad out there, and I just enjoy frogs so much, they're just cute little things in reality, but but as far as humans, if uh, I could have crossed paths with a toad, I think I've kissed it. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's okay to laugh at that, because, you know, there for a while, I even told friends of mine, I'm like, look, you all, I'm not even, back when I used to date, um, and then it took a 15-year break where I was like, I don't want anything to do with anyone. I don't, I don't trust my judgment. I'm, I'm burned out and let down. And I completely closed that chapter of my life for 15 years before um, opening that part of my life up again. And um, so, and I didn't, I didn't find my current guy right away. I mean, or he found me, but um, so... Yeah, there are a lot out there. And the reason I'm telling you all this is because I don't want everyone to become so burned out and jaded that you do what I did and you shut down for 15 years. For some of us, that might be the rest of our lives. <laughs> so it's okay. Not everyone has to be approached as though they are the enemy. Okay? So just understand that and carry that with you this weekend. And that's going to be part of our reset button. That is going to be part of the reset button. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And I said that's enough. All right. As I was saying that, the Five of Pentacles came out. That would have been the 15-year hiatus for me because I just had no faith that there could ever be anyone I could fully trust again. Now... This is the eight, I think. Yeah, eight of swords. Be careful about getting in your own head. It's hard not to. I sometimes stay there for a little while and then have to remind myself, I can get up, walk out of the circle of swords. I'm not really tied up and bound up. I could take off the blindfold and I could pick up more than one of those swords and carry it around with me just for fun. So try not to get in your head. Because there is a celebration and there is love coming. The three of swords can, or I mean, the three of cups can sometimes be an interesting card because it can also mean like a, a third party situation that's not good or that kind of thing. In this instance, because I've always really liked this card overall, I think what it is, and, and not I think, I know what it is in this instance because I can feel it. I feel joy and love overflowing. And it's coming from three areas of life. So in this instance, it's the threefold coming together of all parts of society and home and spirituality and past, present, future, all coming together. So in this instance, the number three is very important. The cups are very important. And they are overflowing. We are going to win. Now, I, I don't mean necessarily in the way the, is the first inclination that you want to think of, but we are going to ultimately, ultimately, I 
just keep hearing that we are going to win. We are going to win. We are going to win. And we have to remember not, but the only way we're going to win is if we do not let our cup run dry. And I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much. Um, thank you all. Thank you for being you. Do something good for yourselves. Be mindful of choices. And I'm going to keep reminding myself of the same message that I just got about act, don't react. Okay? Take care of yourselves and be safe. I absolutely love this community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, you all. It's also, I just keep getting this again, it's really important that we take care of our health, our physical vessel. We've got to really be careful. I mean, good Lord, I'm ready to go get a cupcake if you want the truth. So that might happen. Um, so, but you know what? I, I'm thinking it's definitely going to happen. But for the most part, we got to, we got to get back. We got to walk up those steps on that bus and get back on the track with, or train, I guess would make more sense. So we're going to have to get back on track with our physical health because we are going to need to be in top form. Okay. All right. I am sending so much love to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we will talk again soon.